Last year it was drought. This year so far we've had a lot of rain and we've been getting more questions from viewers about flood protection. CBS 13's Tony Lopez is getting answers tonight, starting with an interesting picture that one viewer sent in. Okay, so it's not exactly Area 51, but this mysterious looking storage shed near Business 80 and 12th Street caught the eye of one of our viewers. Kevin Williamson sent us these Google images and wrote in to say, I've always seen these storage doors. Know what they're for? Well, here's a hint. Yep, it's a storm door of sorts, where the city of Sacramento keeps flood protection equipment. Here's what it looks like when they open up that storage shed and practice putting up this floodgate to keep the city dry when rivers rise. The gates are manually operated. Workers close the steel doors by placing heavy boards into slots to stop the flow of water. It's locked and sealed with sandbags and covered with plastic sheeting. The city does these practice runs to make sure the floodgates can be closed quickly during an emergency. But this manual gate is put up only when severe flooding is imminent. When was the last time it was actually put into use? During the big Sacramento area flood of 1986. Now this is different than the existing floodgate structures like the main gate here off Highway 160 near Del Paso and Northgate, which was just recently closed. So the floodgates were closed um, from Sunday through Tuesday. That leads to our next viewer question. How many floodgates does the city of Sacramento operate? The city handles 15 floodgates, and we are at the Del Paso floodgates, which are the primary floodgates when localized flooding happens. When the river level reaches 24 feet, the main gate could be closed. As for how often that happens? Usually about three times a year, the primary floodgates are closed due to water levels, and those are determined by the Department of Public Works and the Department of Utilities. But the final decision to close the floodgates, that's up to the city manager. And we're up for more of your questions, so keep them flowing. And you can send Tony your questions anytime at tlopez at kovr.com or via Facebook and Twitter.